IGT recently rolled out a new version of my personal favorite game of pinball. What's different about this version? What should you know about it? And how should you play it different? This is the all new version of Pinball in the new Diamond RS cabinet, Pinball Gold. Unlike the older versions of Pinball, this is the first Pinball game that's actually more than a single line. It has a lot more features and a lot more options, including two new progressive jackpots. Now, while IGT has really taken the time to retain the great game of Pinball, they've made a lot of really big changes that's important for you, the player, to know about. The first major change is that the base game of pinball is different. Older versions of pinball, such as the S2000 model, the S3000 model, have always used double diamond as the base game, whereas this version uses double gold as the base game. Of course, now changing the base game is going to change up the volatility because double gold is slightly more volatile than double diamond. Not by much, but it is slightly more volatile. Now, this new version of pinball does have up to nine lines, but one thing that's different is even though it has nine lines, you can actually bet up to 10 credits, so you're betting one additional credit. Why is that and what should you know about it? Well, by betting that extra credit for 10 credits, you'll get a chance to get an extra shot if you get the game of pinball. So if you do find yourself playing this version of pinball, it is really important to make sure that you're playing all the available credits. You wanna make sure to play max on this game to get you those extra pinball shots. Now, since you are betting more credits on this game, if you do get the pinball bonus, then the actual credit values of the pinball game up in the top cabinet are going to be slightly higher than the previous versions. There are also some buckets up at the top that actually will give you additional shots if you happen to land on it. This new game of pinball also includes two different types of progressive jackpots. Now, here is how you get both of those. In order to get the top line progressive jackpot, the biggest one, you need to land all three of the double red sevens on the ninth pay line in order to obtain that jackpot. And in order to receive the secondary jackpot, you need to get all of the pinball shots down into the bottom. Now again, on this channel, we've mentioned a couple times that there's always going to be give and take. Because this version of pinball does have a lot of extras, because it has those extra pinball shots, because it has those extra progressives, and because the base game is a little bit different, it does unfortunately mean that the game is a little higher in volatility. Also, the other negative factor to this game is it costs a lot more money to play as compared to the old one. And here's an example. If you happen to be playing a $5 version of this game and you need to play 10 credits, you're spending $50 a spin. Whereas on the old version of pinball, you could play a $25 two credit version and also spend $50, but you're playing at a much higher denomination. So how should you change up your play and how should you change up your bet levels if this is the pinball version that you would like to play? My recommendation for this particular version of pinball is that you always want to prioritize your budget and if you're used to playing a $10 denomination pinball, my recommendation would be to actually play a $5 version of this game because you are going to be spending a lot more money. If you're like me and you're used to playing a $10 denomination pinball game at three credits a spin for 30 bucks on the S3000 model, on this game, if I were to play a $10 denomination pinball gold, I would be spending $100 a spin, which is substantially more. So my biggest advice is if this is the version of pinball that you would like to play, is to actually play a lower denomination to make sure that you're getting all of the available pinball shots. Overall, on this game, the bonus is a lot harder to obtain, but the values within the bonus are actually a lot higher than the older pinball game. So it's really kind of your preference as the player of if you wanna play that older style pinball and get the pinball bonus more frequently, or if you would like to play the newer style pinball and get the bonus less frequently, but have a chance to get a larger amount within the bonus. I think IGT did a really great job with this version of pinball. The cabinet looks very, very cool. The graphics are awesome. The sound is awesome. However, I am a little disappointed that they took the volatility factor a pretty far on this game. Pinball has always been known as being a pretty low volatile bonus game. So to take it and make it a higher volatile bonus game is a little disappointing, but it is still a fun game to play. And if you get those extra shots, you have a better 
chance of getting a larger jackpot. The biggest takeaway from this is just make sure that if you do want to play this version of pinball, to play it at a lower denomination, just understanding that it is going to burn through your bankroll a whole lot faster. Thanks so much for watching. Check out these other videos and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more slot tips. It's always free. Visit ropethejackpot.com for free guides and a whole lot more. Catch you on the next episode.